Hello everyone, this is MartyMan641 here, and welcome to my newest Let's Play. We're gonna be playing Sega Sonic the Hedgehog. This game is an arcade game in Japan that is made in 1992, and uh, probably shortly after Sonic, I think, right, probably shortly after Sonic 1 was first released in Japan, I believe. And uh, this game features three characters. All of which, well, I mean, like, well, not all of which, but most, but most of them don't usually appear very often until recently, Sonic Mania Plus and Sonic Mania Adventures as well. So let's, all right. So our first character, as we all know, is Sonic the Hedgehog. He's definitely been around all, all the time. But we got two other characters. There's Ray the Flying Squirrel and Mighty the Armadillo. And uh. Well, uh, for Ray, he doesn't appear very often. He only appears in this game, and for future games, he only makes weird cameos that are barely noticeable. But Mighty, on the other hand, did appear in one other game besides besides this, and it's Knuckles Chaotix. And also, in the early stages of Sonic 1, it was first to be an armadillo, but it was changed to a hedgehog because the spikes make more sense. And, uh... But yeah, it's, it's so good that they're going to be finally be coming back. I'm definitely going to be doing a live stream off of Sonic Mania Plus as um, as it's coming out next month. And the reason I'm let's playing this is because, well, I just watched Sonic Mania Adventures episode of these two. And uh, according to Sonic the Hedgehog's tweet on, on Twitter, it was their birthday recently. Or maybe it's Sonic's birthday? I, I don't know. I, I, I don't- I need to re-look at that Twitter page, but I'll probably post it on the screen anyways. So anyways guys, uh, we're gonna go ahead and play this arcade game. I got my MAME emulator ready to go. I got my buttons configuration, hopefully. And let's get started, shall we? Alright, so... We're gonna be playing as Sonic first. And then, um... It, whenever I do die, I will switch to Mighty and then Ray. So let's go. Anyway, so use a trackball, and you gotta actually use the, uh, button to do jumps. Anyways, so Sonic is in the run from Eggman. And you'll be taken away to his base. And, uh, I'm gonna try to translate... I'm gonna try to translate all of the Japanese text into English whenever I can. But, uh... Yeah, it's quite interesting. Alright, sorry about that cut right there, I had to turn the music down a little bit because it was way too loud on my end, so I figured maybe I'll turn it down. But anyways, uh, this game is rarely known, it's only in Japan. And, uh, this is their- this is Mighty and, uh, Ray's game. And will be their game for a while. Ow. And, uh, this is the first level. It's a volcano level. Basically, you gotta make your way up as fast as possible and escape the hazardous traps that await you. And there's traps everywhere. Ow. But that's the first level, ain't that bad. It's just super fast. <laughs> but, um, this game is... is, like, their first game. And after, like, after Knuckles Chaotix, the only appearance they'll come out of it is Sonic Generation's, uh, wanted, uh, missing posters. Until Sega finally brought them back. There's definitely death traps everywhere, and I'm probably gonna die here if I'm not careful.
Okay, let's go this way. Oh. Okay. Yeah, catch that. And this is a trap, too. And now we gotta go this way. Alright, sorry about that. Anyway, so we need to make our way down. These spikes are not gonna hurt unless you're underneath them. Then they will hurt. But just don't go underneath them, and you'll be alright. It is very slippery, and I just died. Alright, well... How do I switch? How do I switch? I can't switch. I think there was a button that, for some reason, it just didn't register. I don't know. Whoa! That's darn. But yeah, that's the first level. Alright. Alright, let's move on to level 3. This level is a quicksand. Just run to the bottom left and avoid the sand. Alright. There we go. Whoa! Sonic, stop falling. This game can be brutal at times. A little bit hard to control, too. But just run for your dear life, and you should be alright. And I'm dead. But how do I switch characters? No, I, I want to switch to freaking Tit. Alright, I'm going to have to figure this out. Maybe you should probably press him one twice. No. I don't know. I'm trying to switch to the other characters, but I can't do that for some reason. Oh, there we go. But I already screwed it up. But all right. Sorry for t sorry for Mighty, but I gotta let him sacrifice. Anyways, I want to show Ray. Anyways, I want to show Mighty right now. This is Mighty, and he already dies. Dang it. That's why we're gonna do it again. There we go. But Mighty is basically the second variant. He's a flying squirrel. I believe this is supposed to be based before Tails designed a little bit. And this is quicksand here. But yeah, uh, being the flying squirrel, he doesn't really fly in this game. I think the plan was he was supposed to fly in a in a much future game. But I don't think it's ever came out yet. But other than that, uh this is the second character that we're playing as. And uh that's Desert Dodge. Sorry it's a little bit awkward, but I'm just figuring out how to change characters. Took me a little bit to figure it out, but I figured it out. Don't worry. I'll probably use two lives and then switch characters. Also, Ray died a little bit early, so... Yeah. Alright, so now here's the fourth level, which is a metallic level. Just run away from the, uh, from the gear that's after you, and then... Dang it!
Just dodge every pen. Ow! Get splatted. And yeah, I'm just I'm just trying to speed run out of here. As for what it is, it's acceptable. I think I think it has a lot of it introduces the characters, it introduces the uh it's basically, it's, it actually what it does is like, whoa. How do I put it? It introduces the characters, and it also introduces uh, the mechanics really quickly. It's really fast, very scary paced, but 